Hello, my name is Sharon Fitzpatrick and welcome to my YouTube channel, Lifestyle with Sharon. Today I'm going to be showing you how to be making coleslaw. Lots of different variations, so keep watching to see what I do with my coleslaw. And if you like the video, do give it a thumbs up. And I'd love it if you share it on social media so you let your friends know, so it lets the channel build up. And I'd love to hear your comments on what you think of the video and what maybe you would like to put in your um, coleslaw and what you'd like to have with it. If you haven't done so already, do subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you hit the bell, it gives you notification. If you hit the bell, it gives you notifications every week to remind you when the video is coming out so you don't miss any. Okay, so we're just going to cut some cabbage up for a plain coleslaw. Make sure you have your tea towel underneath your chopping board. Stop it sliding around. So you're just going to do kind of a quarter of an inch thick of cabbage slice. So it's white cabbage that we use. And then you just slice it along one way. and then turn it and do it the other way. So you want fairly big chunks. You don't want them too tiny. And then you just put your cabbage into a bowl. Okay, so with the carrot, you just peel the carrot, chop off one end, keep the other end and grate it. So then you just add your carrots in with your cabbage. Right, with your onion, cut it in half. Yeah, I forgot to say when you're cutting the onion in half, make sure you're going across from the root to the other side, not that way, going across. Okay, so you're gonna chop the end off, not the root end, the other end. And you're gonna be cutting going across this way, lots of these, but don't go actually right into the root. So you're going to go cut there. So not actually right into the root and you do lots of those. Fairly close together because you want small bits of onion. The finer chopped you want, the closer together you do these, this bit. And you need to make sure you've got a good sharp knife for this. Then you turn it around and you're holding it all in place like this, keeping your fingers bent and you're just going to cut down like this and that way you get finely chopped onions. And by keeping the root to the very last, that's what stops you from crying. See, I've kept that all intact. Okay, so you've added into your um, coleslaw mixture about 10 grams of onion. You can miss that bit out if you wanted to. And you just give that a mix around with a spoon. So basically you want equal parts of um, cabbage and carrots. So I've got in here 80 grams of carrots, 80 grams of cabbage and about 10 grams of onions. Then you just season with a very small pinch of salt and a small pinch of pepper. And then you get your mayonnaise. Start off with putting two spoonfuls in. And then just give this a mix around. Yeah, I'd say two, two big heap spoonfuls of mayonnaise is the perfect amount for this combination. So there, you can see I'm just dishing some into a bowl. So here you can see this beautiful plain coleslaw how quick is that and how easy is that to do and that would be lovely served with lots of different things like the onion rings that i've showed you a quiche the vegetarian scotch eggs there's a whole load of things you could do with this and it's delicious okay to make the cheese coleslaw you literally have the the cabbage the carrots and the onions and you add your mayonnaise and you mix that around you just add some cheese. So the same amount of cheese that you have as the carrots or the cabbage. So if you're using 80 grams of cabbage, 
use 80 grams of carrots and use 80 grams of cheese. And you may find that you might need to have that extra little bit of mayonnaise when you start adding things to your basic coleslaw. But you can use your own judgment on it. So this is your cheese coleslaw. Now if you want to make one with um, sultanas, you just make your basic coleslaw, which we did, did just now. So for the 80 grams of cabbage and the 80 grams of carrots, we would add 30 grams of sultanas. So you just give that a lovely mix around. And you could add extra if you wanted to. It depends on how much you love your sultanas. So I'll dish, dish this up to show you what it looks like. And as you can see, this is your coleslaw with the sultanas in, and it is beautiful. Okay, so then if you want to make an apple coleslaw, I find the best one is a red apple because I think it's nice with a different colour. It stands out, but you can use any apple. This particular one, I've got a gala apple. And you just cut out the main core and you just cut it up into squares. I mean, you could have different pieces of fruit. I'm just adding apple, but I mean, I'd love to hear in the comments of what fruit you'd like to put in yours. You can experiment with coleslaw. You can put lots of different things in there. I suppose you kind of want them to be little tiny sized like this. You don't want them too small, but you don't want them too chunky either. I mean, you can obviously peel the apple, but I like it with the, the skin on. It just adds to it. So you have your basic salad mixture, the carrots, cabbage and onions, your mayonnaise, give it a good mix and add your apples. Now I'm making enough for one pe person here. So I'm using 40 grams of carrots, 40 grams of cabbage and I'll use 40 grams of apple. So it's quite easy to remember whatever amount you're doing, it's just all the same amount. It's just the onions that are slightly less. So you're using five grams of onions if you're using 40 grams of the other stuff. Again, you can put more apple if you wanted to. You know, this 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 is just a, a guideline, but if you want more apple in yours, put more in. And if you want a real fruity um, one, you have your apple coleslaw and then you add your sultanas. And that will give you a nice fruity coleslaw. This one's really nice. Nice and sweet flavour. So here we have the different types of coleslaw that we've made for today. And this is your plain basic coleslaw, which is delicious on its own. I love that one. And then by adding the cheese in, you've got a nice cheesy coleslaw. By adding some apples into it, you could have apple coleslaw. You could have cheese added to this and it will make it a cheesy apple coleslaw. You've got sultana coleslaw. And again, you could add cheese to this one as well if you wanted to. And this is a fruity coleslaw. So you've got apple and sultanas. And again, to vary up again, you could put the cheese in that one as well. So you can mix and match and do loads. Thank you for watching Lifestyle with Sharon and today's video on how to make coleslaw. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'd love to hear your comments on what you thought of the video and I will get back to you.